I borrow a boy. Bubba, I greet you in the name of Olori Mare and I greet you in the name of my own mother. Today, I want to talk about the Iyami. When we say Iyami, we are talking about the witches, the Aje, they are our mothers. They give back to us. Olori Mare give them so much powers. Such a way that they are the ones that control the affairs of this creation. They are the ones that give you know, the goodies and the negativities of life. It depends on how you treat them. They are the ones who guard the house of Holy Mary. They are the ones whom you people, especially the Christians and the Muslims, refer to as the angels or the witches. Because they are the ones that guard the house of Olodumare. They have so much power. That is the way Olodumare gave them. And they control the affairs of this world. If you want to do any good, if you don't, if you don't see the good face of the Yami, there is no way you can do it. And if you want to do any bad to anyone, if you don't see the good face of the Yami, there is no way you can do it. The Yami, they control the affairs of this world. They are the second in command. If you need anything, you go to the Yami to Olodumare. If you want to do any bad, you go to Yami to Lord Mary. They are the ones that takes all the files before Lord Mary for consent. And Eshula Alio Griyoko is one of them. Although Eshula Alio Griyoko can be regarded as um, one of their accomplices, that is the way Lord Mary made it. Even in the Bible, in the Revelation, some people referred to the Yami as evil that guard the house of Elijah Mary, the winged creatures. They fly in the day, they fly in the afternoon, and they fly at night. So whatever you want to do in this universe, if you want to see their good face, if you want to reap the fruits of life, you must acknowledge the Iyami. In the Odufa of Sameji, which says, Buru Eri, Orogodo Efan, Ogbona Gadani, Bon Wamodo, Igbo apology mo pe fun awon ro be kun ari ba ko ri san la ko ma ki sere bo ko ma ko ma ki sere bo mi tore awon eleye di eleye ori san la offended di eleye if not because he had um, acceded to the dictates of ifa by initiating into ifa the yami will have taken the life of ori san la but ori san la was an initiate anybody that is an initiate today can ever see the red eyes of the Iyami. The Iyami will take care of such a person and they will make his ways smooth. They will clear his ways and they will make his destiny come into accomplishment. So the Iyami, which some people call the witches, the Aje, they are our mothers and they have their mission. But it's only for people who don't know their mission that get it wrong. There's no way we can ever disregard the purpose, the essence of the Iyami, because they control the universe. Although the Mary cannot come down, but the Iyami, they are on the terrestrial level. At the same time, they are on the divine level. They are on the spiritual level. They control the affairs of this world. You may not know, as a matter of fact, your brother may be an Iyami, your sister may be an Iyami, your own mother may be a witch. But once you don't know, what they mean to your life, you always, always get them wrong. And they will always come to attack you. And there is no way you can ever make an headway if you see the red eyes of the Iyami. So it is essential to make a sacrifice to the Iyami every now and then so that they can show us their good face. So that they can show us their positive side. So that we can get to where we need to get to as a matter of our destiny. Because our destiny has to do a lot with the Yami. And thank God, wherever you are as a person, once you are an initiate of Ifa, the Yami can never attack you again. You have become their child. And they will always protect you and they will always give you what you need. If you want to fulfill your destiny, my brother, my sister, everyone, be you a Muslim, be you a Christian, be you a worshiper of Ifa or any other adherent of the traditional, the Yoruba traditional religion. You have to align with the Iyami. You have to make you know, instant 
and consistent sacrifice to them as prescribed by Ifa because they are the one that holds the haste to success in this life. Thank you so much. Ubadon.